in this video we will see what are these one one and on two functions okay so first let me start with the one one function okay so here if i take two sets set a and then set b and in set a we have one two and then three one two three are what they are elements of set a and we have one more set b and here let me take a b and c so a b and c are the elements of set b so now here if this element one is related to element a or element one is mapped to element a and two to b and then three to c right so now such functions are called one one functions right so or you can say if f of x1 is equal to f of x2 okay if f of x1 is equal to f of x2 it implies x1 must be equal to x2 if this condition is satisfied by the function still it is called one one function right okay so let's see what is this on to function here so here again let me take two sets set a and then set b and here let me take one two and then three and here a b c and then d all right so what is the uh, contrary to this one one function or, or the what is the converse of or what is that what if this condition is not satisfied right what if every element of set a is not related to uh, different elements from set b for example if i take set a and then set b such that here we have one two and then three and here we have a b c and then d right so let me take one related to a two related to b and then three is also related to b right so such functions are not one one functions and they are called many one functions okay so these kind of functions are called many one functions all right next one is onto function let's see here so if one is related to a two is related to b and then three is related to c you can take c right so here we all know that the elements from set a are called as domain right what what is domain here domain is one two and then three okay so next core domain what is core domain here a b c and then d all the elements from set b right so a b c d are called the core domain then we have one more called a range so what is range here range is the elements which are related to the first set right so the elements a b and then c are related or connected to the first set so here the range is a b and then c right so these are the three key terms fine so now back to onto function so then on hence what is this onto function called or what is the condition that must be satisfied by a function to be called as onto function so here if a range is equal to core domain right if range is equal to core domain then we called such function as onto function right so how can we make this function as onto function just remove this d out of here right so now what is the core domain here a b and c what is range here a b and c hence such functions are called onto functions what if you had d here right if there is d here then domain and core domain and range will be different right so such functions are not called onto functions. so just you remember the condition what is the condition here the range must be equal to core domain right or one more example so here we have set a and then set b all right so here again let me take one two three and here a b so one is related to a two is related to b and three is related to b right so here first is it one one function no it is a many one function because two and three are related to b right 
so b is having two pre images b is having two pre images that is two and then three right hence it is a many one function and then is it on on to function yeah because here what are the co domain a and b are the co domain and what is the range again a and b because both a and b are related to the first set right so hence it is a on to function right so there is one more term used for one one and on two for one one it is a uh, injective functions okay injective just you remember this word injective here and then here surjective okay injective for one one and then surjective for on two if the function is both one one and on two right so this one one is related to a two three and uh, two to b and then three to c and your domain is equal to codomain so this function is called both one one and on two function such functions are called bijective functions okay bijective functions just remember these three words injective surjective and then bijective functions examples or uh, to give, give you better clarity over the concept of one and on two functions so here if i take the function f of x is equal to x square right f of x is equal to x square and what is this f of x is equal to x square it is a polynomial function right so now we need to check whether this function is 1 1 or on 2 right so how to check for 1 1 let me start with 1 1 okay so now here uh, you will be given domain and range so f of x is equal to x square and the function is defined from r to r right so how do we do this one f defined from r to r and then this r is domain of the function and then this r will be codomain okay and what are these are they are real numbers the domain or the input of the function is real number and the other set the second set is also a real number so let me take set a so all the real numbers here and set b again filled with all the real numbers right so and how these two are connected by f of x is equal to x square right so here the elements of this set are x uh, let me take 1 2 minus 1 0 right so there are infinite number of numbers uh, infinite numbers here in the set a let me take just 4 and here uh, the second set again real numbers so let me take 1 4 0 and then minus 1 right so now here from the given relation that is f of x is equal to x square right so what is the square of 1 here that is 1 so 1 is related to 1 and what is the square of 2 4 2 is related to 4 and what is the square of minus 1 again it is 1 here right and what is the square of 0 that is 0 so 0 is connected to 0 right so now what is the condition for 1 1 each element from set a must have unique images right or the element from set b should not have two pre images but here we have this one related to one and then minus one related to one right so one is having two pre images that is one and minus one and so it is not one one function and it is a many one function right and is it on to no because what is the codomain here the codomain is all the real numbers and what is the range here as we know we have a square numbers take any number any real number then you will get a square of that right so definitely it is positive real number because square of minus one is one square of minus two is four take any negative number then you will get a positive number in the set b all the negative numbers or positive numbers are connected only to the positive numbers in set b right because minus one is not related to any element from the one set one or minus two and minus three hence core domain hence core domain is not equal to range okay so it is not not an on to function If I take f of x is equal to greatest integer function, okay, 
and here the function is defined from again r to r now we need to check whether this function is 1 1 or on 2 okay so now start with check for 1 1 I hope you guys know what is this one one uh, what is this greatest integer function so greatest integer function is denoted by this and here greatest integer is a uh, integer greatest integer less than the given value for example if I take 1.2 here right so what is the greatest integer less than 1.2 so better take a number line see here 0 1 2 minus 1 and then minus 2 so here we have this 1.2 somewhere here right so this is 1.2 now what is the greatest integer less than this that is 1 right so the value of 1.2 is 1 so if I take 1.8 so here is 1.8 again somewhere here but in the integer less than the given value so it's again one so value of 1.8 is also one right so this is what the greatest integer function is so now we need to check whether this function is one one or on two right so now here let me take again two sets a and b and here set a the domain set b the codomain and here the, as the function is defined from r to r the domain is all the real numbers and the codomain again all the real numbers right and we know that oh, this greatest integer function is defined for all the real numbers and take any random number for example let me take uh, 1 1 1.5 2 and then 2.8 right so now here this is connected or related by the greatest integer function okay so now if i take greatest integer function 1 then it is 1 right so 1 is related to 1 right so now if i take 1.5 1.5 then the value of 1.5 is 1 and if i take 2 the value of greatest integer 2 is again 2 and then 2.8 uh, 2 because 2.8 somewhere here less than 2.8 is 2 so the value of 2.8 is again 2 here so let me take one as we have the codomain real numbers you can you can have 1 2 2.5 and 3 3.5 any numbers right all the real numbers you can have in this set b so now here this 1.5 is connected to 1 again and this 2 is connected to 2 and then 2.8 is again connected to 2 right so now we know what is 1 1 and on 2 right so is this function 1 1 no right because 1 and 1 1.5 are related to 1 these two numbers and then 2 and 2.5 are connected or related or mapped to 2 so this is a many one function right so not 1 1 function right so now check for uh on 2 is it a on 2 function again what is the condition for on 2 the condition for on 2 is a range must be equal to codomain right if range and codomain are same then it is called onto function so here the codomain is all the real numbers right and what is the range of this greatest integer function you must remember this one the range of see here take any value right so 1.2 0 0.2 any any real number or any decimal fraction number as a output you will get always an integer right for example if i take a greatest integer function minus 0.8 right okay where we get this minus 0.8 here and what is the integer less than that minus 1 right if i take minus 1.2 right somewhere here greatest integer less than that minus 2 so the as an output from the from this greatest integer function we always get an integer right so range is a z or you can write integer so here codomain is real number but the range is integer so this greatest integer function is neither one one nor on two okay so here it is neither one one nor on two. okay 
further the function f of x which is equal to greatest integer function x and here the function is defined from n to n right so what is n n is a natural number right so here this is our domain all the natural numbers and the codomain is again all the natural numbers right so now we need to check this function the greatest integer function which is defined from n to n is 1 1 or 1 2 right so check for 1 1 okay so we have set a here all the natural numbers set b again all the natural numbers right so we know that the natural numbers start from 1 2 3 4 and it goes on right so what is the greatest integer function of 1 that is 1 greatest integer function of 2 2 again and then 3 so 3 right so each element from 1 2 3 and then 4 are related to unique elements or the different elements right so hence it is a 1 1 function because 1 2 3 got single pre-image in the first set now check for onto function okay. so now here each element from set b are related to one or the other element from set a right for example you take any number here 7 so greatest integer function of 7 is 7 take 13 greatest integer function of 13 is 13 or you can say here the codomain is natural number okay and what is the range of the function again it is a natural number right so once the range and codomain are same then the function is called onto fine so f of x which is equal to greatest integer function x defined from n to n is both 1 1 and on 2 let's take one more function so i will take f of x is equal to mod x right and here the function is defined from r to r that is all the real numbers again check whether this modulus function is 1 1 or on 2 for the given domain and codomain r and r right so just follow the same step right for 1 1 again take two sets a and b right so here so again set a all the real numbers and set b okay, real numbers so now i will take a uh, minus 2 minus 1 1 and 2 right you can take one different numbers also let me just stick to some simple numbers so now here these two are connected by right so now again set b is all the real numbers but let me take these values what is the modulus of minus 2 2 here and what is the modulus of minus 1 1 and 1 is 1 and 2 is 2 right so 1 and 2 so here this minus 2 is related to 2 minus 1 is related to 1 1 is again related to 1 and then 2 is related to 2 right so this 2 here got two pre images that is minus 2 and 2 and there is not a 1 1 function same with 1 also it got minus 1 and 1 here so not 1 1 okay because we have all the real numbers here in this set right and here we have same real numbers we know that the output of the modulus function is always a positive number whether you take minus 2 or plus 2 minus 4 or plus 4 as an output we have same number right so it is a many one function not on on one function now let's check for on two So now same what is the codomain codomain is all the real numbers and what is the range here we know the range of modulus function is all the positive real numbers right because modulus of all the negative real numbers 
is the positive number for example modulus of minus 5 is 5 modulus of minus 2.5 is 2.5 so as an output we always get a positive real numbers hence range is not equal to codomain so not on to fine so now i will take the same function that is f of x is equal to mod x but let me change the domain and codomain so i will take both integers or you can take natural numbers right so let me check the same function whether it is continue or oh sorry whether it is one one or on two for natural numbers so here f of x is equal to mod x and the function is different from n to n right that is natural numbers so here let me check for one one set a filled with all the natural numbers set b filled with all the natural numbers as the natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, okay, it goes on. And here again, 1, 2, 3, 5. And the modulus of 1 is 1, 2, and then 3. So each element from set A is related to 1 or the single element from the second set, right? Hence, it is 1, 1 function okay now check for on to so codomain is natural number and as an output always you will get up because here as an uh, input we are getting giving some positive integers right because natural numbers are what they are positive integers so when you give positive integers uh, to this mod you will always get a unique image three three and then four four right so again here the range is all the natural numbers so both the domain sorry both the codomain and range is same hence it is onto function right so the given mod of x is one one and onto for the given domain and range that is a natural number right or you can call it as a bijective function so what is a bijective function if it is both one one and on two then it is called bijective